What's up y'all, my name is Parker, the developer of Tiz, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through the latest updates to Tiz. So I'll be showing these updates on mobile, but the majority of these updates will have the same effect on web. So first off, we've removed the bottom tab bar and replaced it with a write things down bar. The main benefit of twos is to write things down, anything that's on your mind, anything that you wanna keep track of. So we wanna make that as quick and simple as possible. On the left, you'll see a little plus button, which pulls up a little menu of different things that you can add, to-dos, AI, photos, reminders, a template, sublist, divider. On the right, you can use the microphone. Hi, how's it going? Question mark. And then if you ever want to just write something down, you can just click into it. Yeah. Set you a very, see you in a little bit. And if you just click into the bar, you'll be able to write anything down. That's the new write things down bar. If you would like to add a tab bar, so if you liked having home there or today, maybe you wanted to add a different view that you use a lot, you can now customize your tab bar by going into the side menu, into settings in the bottom right, into appearance, and then into menu and nav bar, which I might change to tab bar. And you'll see that you have no nav bar buttons by default, but if you would like to order anything, let's say I wanted home in there, today, lists, and let's go calendar. You can add up to five, and then if you save that, pull down to load today. Now we'll see I have a bottom tab bar sitting right below the right things down bar. Next up is we've moved new list from the top right hand corner down into the fab. While twos is a place to write things down, you are writing things on days and lists. So creating a new list is a very important action. So we've added it to the fab, which stands for frequently accessed button to easily start a new list. And we've also changed up the flow of the new list. So you can give it a name and save it, or you can use AI to create a list for you. You can create a template, you can create a to-do list, a note, or a numbered list, as well as start with any of your templates if you have any pre-made templates, and at the bottom, any of our list ideas. If I pull down to get back to today, and the fab is contextual now. So if I were to go to, say, our stars, the fab is now a star, so I can add a star there. If I go to reminders, the fab will be for create a new reminder. So it's actually contextual based on the view that you're in. You may have seen that we have changed the to-do boxes into circles. We've also changed the select buttons. So the select used to be if you swiped left on anything, then you could select it. We've actually now added these little dots next to each thing, which we may add a setting to turn them off, but it just allows you to quickly tap on things and select them because selecting things is very important and crucial and we wanna just expose that so that people can select things, change and organize things much more easily. If you saw earlier in the side menu, we added a new invite button. So if you go to the side menu and then the bottom left, there's an invite button, where if you click that, it will allow you to text the twos link to other people. We would love for you to share twos with other people. It's adding your referral code with the link so that if they sign up, you both will get 200 coins. If you wanna customize your referral code, you can go into settings into the referral center, and then you can customize your code there. So you can see my code is baller. Use code baller for 200 coins. The last thing that I'll show you, the week view actually used to be a tab inside of the calendar view, but we've separated the two so that if you wanted the week view to be in your bottom tab bar, you could also add it there. Like I said, there are a lot of different changes. The icons are a bit smaller. The open sublist button is simplified select actions now have labels unless you've turned them off like i have a lot of great improvements can't wait to hear what you think about them if you have any questions please let us know in the comments or send us an email join the discord but thank you very much for watching and have a happy tuesday